everyone, Chris here with All Free Crochet. I'm here today to show you how to attach some amigurumi pieces together. We're going to do it so they're on securely and neatly. So let's go to the studio and get started. All right, everybody, we're here in the studio. And as you can see, I have my amigurumi figure here. And I have a small piece that needs attached to that figure. So what I've done is when I finished the piece, I followed the instructions that said to stuff it. And I left a long tail here and I have attached the end of the tail to a yarn needle and I'm going to follow the instructions and put it where it says to put it. So I'm going to put it there. I'm going to kind of um, test it, see if I like it. And once I get it where I like it, I'm going to use something to attach it, to hold it in place while I work. I happen to have these hairpins or chopsticks handy. You can use a double point knitting needle or two or some safety pins even if you want. And I'm just going to kind of hold it in place. I know it looks silly, but kind of give it a look and see if you like where it's at. Okay, once you do, you know, hold your piece. And the trick for attaching pieces like this so that it's secure and neat is make sure you have enough yarn first off. And when you go through to the back to your main body piece, make sure you go all the way through a stitch. So go behind. So there's both pieces and it's going to be nice and secure when you pull it through. You'll see. It'll make it nice and secure there. Now when you go back to the piece that you're attaching, you're going to do the same thing. Make sure you pick up something substantial. So two pieces. And you're going to go always in the same direction. Get it in there and pull it tight. And as you pull it tight, you'll notice that your stitches will disappear. I don't know if you can see that. Let me take out my chopstick here. You'll see your stitches will disappear as you pull it tight. So just keep going around and just try and make it nice and even. You can always pull the stitches out and redo it if you need. So see, it'll get a little tight. I'm using a giant needle so you can really see what I'm doing here. But just keep going. You don't have to do too many stitches across. You can skip a few. Oops, and it just came undone there. And once you get going, you can actually take out your chopsticks because they will get in the way. And you're just going to continue all the way around. And when you're done, I will show you how to hide the end of the yarn. So I've worked all the way around. You can see all my little stitches have disappeared. It's nice and neat. It's secure. It's not coming off. Now I have to deal with this end of the yarn, getting rid of it neatly and finish it. So the way to do this so that it won't come undone is you're going to go through one stitch like we were doing before. Don't pull it all the way through. Leave a loop. We're going to pick it up and grab that loop. We're going to pull it tight. So I just tied a knot. That's all I did. All right. Now we have to bury the end of the yarn. And this is not for the faint of heart, but we're going to stab him in the head. But here we go. We're going to go all the way through and you just want to take it and you want to squish that needle through as far as you can. It may feel like you're going to lose your needle, but you see here, I'm pulling it through the top of his head. Give it a good, good tug. And while you're tugging it, you're going to snip with your scissors here. And that will make the end disappear into the head and it'll never come out. And there you go. You have your pieces attached and they're not going anywhere. <laughs> 